Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be making Pluto's largest moon which is um, Charon larger than Pluto itself. So it's going to be pretty cool and it's also going to be the last episode of this series I think because we've done the moon larger than Earth, we've done one of Mars' moons larger than Mars, we've done Ganymede larger than Jupiter, we've done Titan larger than Saturn, then last um, episode we did um, Titania larger than Uranus and then we did Triton larger than Neptune. So. The last thing I could think of, or the last logical thing to do, would be to do Pluto and its moon. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, um, let's speed this up quick and just see the craziness unfold here. As Earth gets completely destroyed by all of these moons, I guess. Like, there's a lot of stuff here. But anyways, let's go into a whole new solar system simulation. Let's go all the way out to Pluto, which is somewhere I don't really go much in my videos, actually. So, should be pretty interesting. And we'll go ahead and delete all of these ones or these extra bodies because we don't need them either so yes yeah, do that so yeah we'll just leave the inner solar system in why why not all right so we've got poor old Pluto so far out over here and as you can see it is quite dark here but what we're going to do is we're going to do the usual thing where we pause it and then add moons to the planet and then there it is right there Charon it's right here so one thing you didn't or one thing if you don't know is the same side of Charon always faces the same side of Pluto so they're basically tidy locked to each other I don't know if it does it in the game but they do do it in, um, well, they do do it in um, real life, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the same side of Charon always faces the same side of Pluto. It's a pretty interesting thing. Does it actually do it? Maybe. It looks like this bit, this part here is always facing Pluto. I don't know. Yeah, but if you didn't know that, I, I believe that it does that. So, yeah, if anyone anyone say, thinks that's wrong, let us know in the comments and tell me if I'm wrong or something. I don't mind. So... Anyways, let's go and do this. So if you didn't know, Pluto actually has five moons, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Wait, where's the fifth one? There should be a fifth one. I think there's going to be a fifth one. Or maybe it's not in the game yet. Yeah, one, two, three, four. There should be a fifth one. Oh, yeah, I don't think... I think they discovered it after the, this was added into the game. But I'm pretty sure there is a fifth moon. All right, anyways. Let's slow this down. And let's go to Karen here. And as you can see, these bodies are quite close to each other. Like, I'm pretty sure we could fit an Earth in here. You know, they're literally one Earth apart from each other, like, they are very, very close to each other. And if you want a quick image from Pluto itself, so we'll land on the surface here, go all the way down, look up. Yeah, this moon is quite large in the sky already due to how close they are to each other. But all we're going to do is, poor old Pluto is going to get overpowered by its little moon here. So, let's go ahead and do this. So, we'll slow it down and then we'll start doubling that up in size already. So, let's do 1200, which is pretty much double there. So, now we're almost... Or larger than Pluto already. See, because they're so small, the first like times two we do in this in the size, it's already larger. It's pretty cool stuff. So if we look up, now we've got two bodies of exactly the same size, pretty much. So if you want a quick comparison, these guys are literally exactly the same almost. See, Pluto's even smaller there, so yeah, that's not good. Alright, anyways. Let's um see. I hope this doesn't ruin the orbits. It looks like Pluto's gonna be orbiting that now, alright. So let's hit play here. Yep, yeah, Pluto is now orbiting Charon. So pretty interesting stuff. And yeah, this is going to break the Pluto system quite easy, I believe. Oh, they're in a binary system now, it looks like. Okay. So we can see what happens to any of the other moons. Yeah, they're all going to mess up <laughs> quite a lot. All right. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so they look like they're doing good. I think Pluto still has more mass. We can have a little look here. So how many moons is this? 0 0.152. And then Pluto is 0 0.117. Okay, so Pluto is larger. Alright, so, all right, nothing seems to be happening, it's just the orbits keep on changing. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to double it up again to 2,400 now, so getting larger. I'm going to make sure Pluto doesn't crash into it, so now if we look from Pluto, go on the surface here, have a little look around. And as we can see, this thing is huge in the sky, and it's not even that big. It's literally not even the same size as Mars yet, it's still a very, very small object. And just look how large it is from Pluto, that is... That's pretty cool to look at, actually. If we um, slow down time, we can have like a moon set, I guess. Look at that. Let's get rid of those that are all lined as well. So there we go. Looking pretty cool. And if we can look, we can look at Pluto from um, this moon as well. So go down here, have a little look. So where's good old Pluto up there? And there it is. So Pluto, yeah, a lot smaller than what Charon looks in Pluto, actually. So yeah, not good. So speed this up a little more. We see Pluto set on the horizon here. So. Looking good. All right, we've got the sun very small over there as well. All right, so there we go. That's a Pluto set, I'd call it, honestly. All right, so there we go. Well, also, guys, while we're doing this, many, many thanks for all the support we've been getting recently because 
it's been awesome. Yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. And also, um, a little information. I'm going to be doing a live stream this weekend. I think I'm going to do it on Sunday about 6, 7 p.m. UK time. So, yeah, make sure you're around for that if we want to check it out. We're going to be making a custom solar system. That's the only thing we're going to be doing. So, yeah, if you've got any video ideas, I'm sorry, but we will not be fe or I won't be featuring them in the live stream. We're just going to be making a custom solar system because a lot of people have asked to do it. And I've got tons of ideas to do it since you guys have also commented lots. So, which should be pretty fun. It probably won't be the longest of live streams. Maybe I don't know. It depends how much we put into the solar system. We can make it really advanced if we, if you guys want. Like, but if you guys got any ideas for this solar system we're gonna make, which we'll use to start off every video, and be my guest. Send a um, request in the comments saying what you want in the solar system, because you never know. It may be featured. All right. Anyways, let's do this. So, let's double it up again to four. Oh no, five thousand two hundred. No, five thousand. Yeah, five thousand eight hundred. I don't know, what is it? Oh yeah, wait, I, I lost track. Um, let's just do 5,000. All right, so there we go, let's pretty much double up again. And, oh, it looks like it ate one of those little moons. You can see there's an impact there. All right, so if we make Pluto orbit it now, I think the tidal forces of this moon are gonna shred Pluto apart. Well, Pluto's now the moon, but yeah, you get the point. So, this thing is now as large as Mars, I think. Oh, it's larger than Mars, okay. Slightly forward, smaller than Venus, though, so. Pretty interesting stuff. Alright, so we hit play. I wouldn't be surprised if Pluto starts to get torn up. I have, n I have no idea. So it's got a mass of 11 moons. So if we look at poor old Pluto here. Pluto's not even one moon. So I wouldn't be surprised if Pluto does eventually get torn up. But if we want to have a little peek on the um, horizon here. Oh no, it is getting shredded apart. Look at that. Got some fragments coming out here. So why don't we land on the surface right about here? We look around. And we're going to see all of this. Explosion. Just look how large that is in the sky. That's pretty amazing stuff. But anyways, if we hit play, we can see it. We're losing a lot of material here. That's looking pretty cool, actually. I could use that for a thumbnail. So we see all the fragments here, all getting torn away from Pluto. Look at this. They're all just falling onto the moon here, like making a new ring system almost. Pretty interesting stuff. All right, let's try and land right in the middle of it all. So it's all smoking up from this point, it looks like. So if we look here, get a cool view of that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Got the shadow there, Pluto as well, barely there. So it's just steaming off all of the mass and all of what Pluto really is is just being shredded away from it. So not too good. So it seems like the point closest to the um, moon is always losing the mass, it's not a specific point. All right, cool. So oh wait, we can see inside the object. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, no, I know I've seen this before actually. What am I saying? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Look inside. It's pretty weird. All right, so if we speed this up a little more, and this is all happening in minutes as well. Look, 40 minutes, this is a few hours this is happening, which is pretty crazy. So as we can see here, Pluto is getting shredded apart and it's losing its radius and mass as well. It's getting smaller and we're starting to get like a new ring system around um, Charon here, looking pretty cool. And the other moons, they still exist. Oh, we have Hydra over here, that moon still exists. And we've got Nyx. So it looks like we lost the other moon, which I can't remember its name. Nyx, Hydra, and... Um, I can't remember, I'm sorry, all right. So we've got Pluto, alright, so, speed this up, and Pluto will now be vaporised, as we can see here. Is it going to survive, or is it going to get shredded? So, if we continue playing, yeah, Pluto's now been reduced to a tiny little asteroid, as we can see here. So it's lost all of its colour, it's actually some black and white object, which looks kind of weird. We've got a lot of um, craters on here, actually, from all the remains of Pluto, have all just been bashing on the planet, it looks like. Because those two holes there, they're definitely from Pluto. <laughs> Alright, so we now have just a ring system of what's left of Pluto, so pretty cool. That's actually one of the first episodes in this series that a ring system has actually been created, I think. Because usually they just, all of the mass just falls onto the planet, or it just gets completely thrown out. But we actually have a ring system here, and it looks pretty good as well. You can barely see the rings, but yeah, they are there if you look from a sky view. In fact, actually just put a white background. Wait, can you see? You still can't see it with a white background. Um, game... I can't really see them, they're just very, very, very small objects. Can we even select one? I think they just disappear and it's weird. Okay, let's just go back to the normal one. So is there anything still there? Oh, no, I think they've all just disappeared. So we did have a reef si uh, ring system briefly there, which is pretty cool, but it looks like... Yeah, the rings are all gone now, so now all that's left is a tiny little Pluto, but Pluto does still exist, so that means we can continue making this thing larger, so... Let's put it back on realistic light as well, so... Yeah, if we look from the surface of what's left of Pluto now... Oh, it's all glitchy, you can't even see, so it's so small, but if we look up... Yeah, this thing literally dominates the entire sky now. That is how large this thing is. Just look at this. 
it's literally covering up the sky permanently because the planet is so small now, or the dwarf planet, I should say. All right, so yeah, poor Pluto is just being reduced to absolutely nothing, but. We can make it one step larger, so we can make it 10,000. I think Pluto is just going to get completely... Oh, no, no, it isn't. It's still there. All right, so we're going to hit orbit again. And surely it's going to crash down to the surface now, because look how close it is. It pretty much would be in the atmosphere if this was Earth. So not looking good. But if we hit play, I think it's going to fall into the object. There's no way it can orbit from this distance. All right. So there's anything going on here? They're very, very close to each other. Wow, that is crazy. How is it hanging on from that distance? Like, I don't even know what that distance is. Um, it is about... Uh, how much is that? It's about 10,000 kilometres above the surface. That is very, very low. So uh, I think it's a little um, further away from the International Space Station is from Earth. Anyone know the distance the International Space Station is from Earth? I don't know. Is it higher or lower? So I think this thing is quite close, but I'm pretty sure the International Space Station is closer than this to Earth. So 10,000 kilometers up. Is that far or... Yeah, what, what's, what's that? the deal with that? Anyone know? Right, anyways. So, let's continue hit and play. And by this point, Pluto shouldn't even exist. I don't know why it hasn't been torn up yet, but I guess to finish this off, we'll just slow down time. We'll just make it slightly bigger, so just make it a tiny little bigger, and there we go. Pluto's now like rolling on the surface. Look, it is rolling. Look, it's like a marble, but eventually it's going to completely go in. Look at that, it's making it's making a cool like line there. It's pretty weird. And now Pluto is inside, and it still exists apparently. Oh, look, there we go. It's gone. Can we actually look inside? Oh, I can't anymore. Can we go in? Okay, that's weird. Sometimes you can go in, it sometimes you can't. But there we go. So Pluto is now just completely smashed onto the surface and was like a bowling ball there but there we go so it impacted there and that pretty much is it Charon is now a dominant planet in the outer solar system as we can see it has completely destroyed Pluto and all of the rest of its moons I believe yeah that's it all of the moons are gone as well so on a quick comparison here this object is slightly larger than the earth as well so pretty cool stuff so there we are and if you guys want this um, objective feature in the custom solar system I will save it so I just call it I don't know Big Charon or something I don't know I'm not good at thinking of names so there we go oh not Bug Charon Big Charon so there we go just save it like that so there we go we've got it all saved so if you want that object to feature in the custom solar system yeah leave your um, comment down below saying it or if you've got any other ideas like I said leave a comment and you're welcome and see if your idea gets some featured don't know just make sure it's um, not too insane so we've had some pretty crazy ones so far but yeah there we are so that is it for this episode guys so hopefully you all enjoyed make sure if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new help us on the journey to 700 subscribers because the channel is going pretty quick right now so yeah many thanks to everyone who subbed and all that good stuff and yeah that's pretty much it for this video so hopefully you all enjoyed make sure you all have a good day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye